Chairman of the Public Accounts Committee, Sir John Pundari, said he was saddened to hear from lawyers of the Public Accounts Committee that the National Executive Council had withdrawn its earlier decision to have Kumul Petroleum Holdings Limited be subjected to PAC inquiries. Sir John said the PAC was made aware after it was served with an affidavit by KPHL through the committee's legal representative, Hanau Lawyers. We must know that the Kumul Petroleum Holdings is owned by the people of this country. Through their government and their shares are represented by none other than our Prime Minister, who is the trustee of the Kumul Petroleum Holdings. He is also the chairman of the National Executive Council and sitting as chair. They approved the National Executive Council to make Kumul Petroleum Holdings to be subject to the Public Accounts Committee, only to learn later when matters are before the court that the National Executive Council made a decision to rescind that decision, to rescind that earlier decision, that they are not subject to the Public Accounts Committee. In any case, all these matters will be defended and they're before the courts. Sir John said KPHL and a company owned by Sir Costas Constantino, who also filed a lawsuit against the PAC, had also questioned his appointment as chairman of the committee. Now they even question my appointment as chairman of this committee by the highest institution in the land, the legislature. They question that my appointment as chairman should be appointed by the members of this committee. My layman understanding of the law is the fact that Parliament appoints me as chairman, the Parliament appoints the deputy chairman, the Parliament appoints the committee members. Now they are questioning the highest legislature in the land. He said the committee respects their decision to go to court.